friends, we are approaching the end of our year, the end of 5,773, 5, and the sounds that you heard me are the sounds of the shofar. In the last month of Elul, we are supposed to blow the shofar once a day, just to remind us that the new year is coming. In this Torah portion by Itzabim Bayelech, you know, we are learning that all of us are standing together in front of God to end, and this almost is the end of the Torah as well. So we are standing together in this case to receive a new year. But as we prepare to do, the, to do so, we have to check our lives. We have to check how we have done in the last year. What are the things that we accomplished? What are the things that we try to make them different? And I think that always there is room to change. Always there is room to see ourselves. And sometimes there is always room to criticize others. And sometimes we look to others' lives instead of look to our own lives. So the shofar is an invitation as an alarm clock to make us realize that a new year is coming. To prepare ourselves, it's time to ask for forgiveness, even though we have the specific times in our tradition between the Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur in the Aseret, it made the Shabbat, the 10 days of repentance. The shofar is a kind of the alarm clock for us to say, hey, let's wake up. Let's hear the sound of the shofar. And when we will do so, let's close our eyes and to realize how many things we like to improve in our own lives. This is the message for this week. This is the message that we, as we prepare for this Saturday night, which is the time that we ask for Slichot, which is the time that we start to change the Torah covers from blue, yellow, red to white. Let's remember to come back. Let's remember to stand together before God and before our own lives to realize what we need to change. Shabbat Shalom and Shana Tova.